hey guys welcome it has been a long time when i mean a long time it has been a super long time since august i haven't posted anything not that i remember i did some video shorts i've been doing some shorts on youtube but um other than that it has been a busy time with this one and as you can tell i have to have her in my carrier um I have no freedom whatsoever to do a lot that I wish I could get done here at home. And so it has been a long journey. I still have been wanting to talk to you guys about what went on with my husband, like at the hospital. It's just so much compiled together, but just know it's very overwhelming, everything that I have been through. And so during this time, it has been getting to me. Um, being a mom is not as easy as I thought it would be just because I've experienced like taking care of my nephews with my sister and all that. I always thought like they were much easier, even though there were moments, of course, that any child has like their tantrums and all that. But I always felt like it was easier to resolve and having her, it has been super hard. It feels like I have like three children in one or at least two in one with great personalities if you know what i'm talking about um i'm like not here to like complain about her but like i'm here to tell you like the realities about being a mom it's not anything that you think um yes it it comes with i feel like everything that i've experienced already and had like um experience with children and babies i feel like the one thing that is missing that I did not experience as much is sleep deprivation. So, yes, I had to wake up really early when working as a teacher at a preschools and, like, help out. But, like, I could come home and take naps and, like, I didn't have to worry about a baby. But in this case, I come home, I go out of home, and usually I have a baby. Of course, a baby is going to be, like your lifetime project they're gonna grow up become toddlers and then they're gonna be um sorry she's eating she's looking at me now you know um little children that turn into teenagers and then adults living with you until they get married or so which probably is our view with her would want her to be independent but also save herself and like all these different beliefs that we have as christians um, I guess she thinks I'm talking to her because she just keeps staring at me with her eyes. These are the moments that melt me, even when I want to be so frustrated at the whole situation. Um, but yeah, um, that's what I can say right now. It has been very hard. Um, we live, if you guys didn't know, we live in a tiny home or I consider it a tiny home. It's actually a studio, but it's literally a piece of our landlord's house so we literally live beside our landlords like that same wall right here on the right is shared with their kitchen and so it has been overwhelming time so i don't want to go into detail it just whatever has been going on here has been pushing me to want to like find somewhere else to go and i'm like i don't know if it's god's timing if this is something like he's pressuring me to want to leave but like you know men usually get comfortable like i don't want to say that about my husband but you know they are very simple to please when it comes to like where they live and um eating and all that stuff as long as they're eating sleep and they're comfortable where they are living like they're good but for me as a woman and especially a mom being here at home most of the time with the baby i like have so many things that are going on in my mind physically like you know um like factors that are really pushing me to want to say okay it's time to leave i want to get out of here and i can just say like a few of them that have nothing to do with my neighbors um space very limited with the baby we have more things here back here to the right there is a bed where she should be sleeping on which she's not sleeping on and i've been trying to get her to sleep on it 
and she does sleep some days on it but some days she wants to be with me i don't know she's not feeling good and she just wants to just lay beside me on the bed but our bed is not even a queen size bed so it really doesn't fit all three of us and so that really makes it hard for me to sleep i feel like having another room would be easier for my daughter to have her own room i mean we could always sleep in the living room um that way my husband can make like all the noise that he wants and she could like sleep in her own room and because she easily gets scared with things like she's still like um easily startled anything falls she just freaks out i don't know if this is every baby i know some babies are like that but it's just been crazy i'm telling you super crazy overwhelming um i just wish like we had somewhere to go here in california it has been overwhelming i know an aunt of mine has offered she's the only one that has offered in washington for us to move and i just feel like I know that there's people that have been wanting to help us like when it comes to food and have helped us they the lord has provided through them to get us food to give us money because we've been in a time of scarcity like scarcity i don't know how you would say it um but like i know that we've been, uh, at least had i don't want to say but like ten dollars in our bank and the lord has never left us without money even if it's that little and we've always had food to eat but um you know it's just hard in the process in the middle of it it's very overwhelming because i had i wish that i have i wish that i had like my own place our own area like my makeup area is literally right here on the left close to the bed close to the dirty clothes you know all these things are just close together and i feel like the walls are like caving in and i just wish that I, you know we had a bigger space and it just overwhelms me because i know like i need to trust in god and people say trust in god but like there's so many family members that could be helping us right now and are not helping us right now and like i'm not saying like they're required to help us but it's like i thought family would help one another and so that's where it's overwhelming because like my dad has helped us like with money and stuff but like it would have just been nice to have a bigger home an area for my family and i um i've even applied to low-income housing and they have not given us a call back um like even these new low income housing uh, places that are supposed to be built, they never contacted us. And I don't even know which buildings are because there's different ones in the area. And so it's just been overwhelming. That's why I haven't really been having the time to even create any videos, which is not important. Like she's my priority right now. And I do everything that focuses on her, you know, um, breastfeeding, you know, cleaning after her. She bonds a lot of her diapers, changing her, bathing her, making sure she gets her sleep. I think that's been another factor that is just pushing me to want to go because there's no, like, silence. So if we're cooking or anything could freak her out and could wake her up, literally what's dividing this place are the curtains like i want to show you guys how it looks in here but that would have to be like another video because oh my goodness there's so much to clean as well and so um it's just been hard like it don't get me wrong it had been a blessing to us to to be here i feel like yes it's still a blessing in a way but then now it's becoming more of a a burden in another way um it's a blessing because i know others don't have a home and i'm grateful for that so don't get me wrong on that but our necessity as in like having more space it has been overwhelming and a lot of the furniture here that we have is to get more space to organize more things 
to not have things like everywhere and somehow they still end up everywhere here and so um i don't know it's just we've been praying and you know we've been praying for months now about what we should do you know i was considering getting an rv or a trailer and going to live in there as long as we we're gonna have our own space and call it our own and it's just so hard like something that we've struggled with i've struggled personally is people constantly saying or pointing out like this is my home and and it feels horrible because i've always wanted to have something that i call my home <laughs> without anyone like telling me like this is my home or some other words pointing it out like so we don't have that freedom to say this is how we want it to look or i want to paint the walls a different color or you know i can go to the backyard and enjoy my time and and how do however i want if i wanted to be dirty out there it can be dirty not saying that's okay but like you get the point like having the freedom to to have my backyard for our family to go out and enjoy like i'm a nature person and that is something that i love to be outside i can't even be out here because of the mosquitoes and then buying mosquito repellent is expensive we've already bought it and we've been able to spray ourselves with it but we're done with it and then um we have to be careful with it also spraying it outside is always the best because then you get it on the furniture or on the floor it gets sticky and you got to be careful with the baby so it's just very overwhelming to not have that freedom that i wish we had i know coming to this place we never planned we're gonna have a child here like uh, my goal was to have moved out by the time we ever had a child and um god allowed it and you know i mean in part it was our fault for not you know being careful but um we tried to be as careful as best we could and you know don't get me wrong guys like she's a blessing she's a blessing to have like not feeling alone here at home because I know I would feel so alone. I was going through depression, trying to overcome it, thinking about, you know, how I didn't really have that many friends and the friends that I do have get busy, which they have their own life and their own worries. And I totally understand. But like, I need a friend that I can talk to often. And like, yes, I know I can pray and all that and that the Lord will help me. But sometimes we just need that physical hug you know or that hand or letting you know like like letting you know that you're not alone and that they see you that you are seen you know you matter to them and so yeah it's just been it's been a lot lately been so much that i don't know what to do we had expenses we had to pay our tires for one of the cars we have it's a 2005 scion xp and it was close to 700 that we had to like pay for it and the lord like amazingly provided for us to be able to do that and still for and with the government money coming in which is like 350 it helped out a lot like i'm telling you like god comes in at the right times like it's not that i don't have faith in him it's just i just wish that things moved a little faster when it came to the situation because it's like i feel like we are so in need of more space a lot of our disagreements that jordan and i have are because of the space uh because of making noise are because of you know so many factors now like before this was a huge blessing being here we've been here over a little more than a year now um 
I think almost two years and oh my goodness we've had to like I'm telling you the Lord has molded us a lot already with just living here but um yeah I I'd want to be able to like wash my clothes not have to be outside washing my clothes because literally our dryer and washer out there and for winter it's going to be hard to want to be out there constantly or in the rain and if there's thunder someday so i'm trying to take advantage of the days that i have but it's so hard when she's crying and i don't have anyone to take care of her my sister has helped me with her but no one else like my mother-in-law has someone else she's taking care of and my stepmom said she would help me but she has her own worries and things that she's focused on and so it just feels really overwhelming because like who do you run to like you don't want to be constantly begging people to be there like you want people to like make time for you to be there and to want to help because if not, like, I don't want to burden people out. I don't want to constantly, like, beg them to be there. I want them to extend their help and say, like, whenever you need me, just call me. Don't hesitate. And I'll try to find a way to be there, you know. Um, and I also wish the relationship with my mom was good because it always goes up and down. It's a relationship that, like, I desire in the future to have, especially for our daughter. Um, we have so many of our own perspectives and boundaries that, you know, we have to place. And we just, we love her, but it's just hard, you know, because you're never going to be on the same page. And so, I don't know. I just pray to God that the Lord helps us through this like I know he will I know he has but it's just overwhelming having a baby she's three months now guys by the way it's been that long since I've been able to actually like make a video like this and um I I'm very grateful for her I am grateful to be living under a roof and have somewhere to wash my clothes and I am grateful to have internet being paid by the way thank god by the government's program that helps out with the internet <sighs> of course we still have our cell phones to pay, pay off you know our iphones <laughs> that's another thing that i'm like should i ever bought but i had to buy a new phone because the one that i had a while ago now the volume was not working it was having a hard time you couldn't even hear it sometimes like when i record as well any type of video it would start off like very low and then get super duper high and uh i decided to get a newer one since it had a deal and i usually wait for the deals because i want to spend the least amount of money that i can like i'm the type of person that will find ways to get something that i want but like wait for the deals or you know um get it for a fraction of the price or wait till the end of the year normally like if it's something that i like really wanting to try and i can't wait or like i'm in the store and it's right in front of me i try to um what's it called make an excuse for me to buy it but well, i realized after editing my video that i completely forgot to record the rest of what I was saying and so I have to like go back and see what was the last thing I said so I could keep talking about it and then end the video but um yeah let me do that so it seems like I was talking about like buying things and all that and um how I've been very careful trying to like be wise about what I am buying and um just be smart about it knowing that like there's more important things priorities so now that we have the baby definitely been more careful what I have been you know buying and like if I'm gonna get something I'm gonna buy a sample of it and so the Lord has just been teaching me to be more frugal 
um and even like try to not spend money outside too much because i know like i feel like with everything that's happening prices going up and all of that and people talking about a recession and so it's just been uh overwhelming to think about all those things and um yeah um we got some news today that we might be having to move soon because of us not being able to like sleep good here and all of that um like i feel like we were not completely understood when we spoke to our landlords it was said but it wasn't like the message didn't come across to someone in specific so like i told this person i said i respect you i respect your decisions your views this is the way that i look at things the way i grew up you know about you know the topics that we were speaking about were having to do like with sleeping and all that being able to get my sleep so i'm not going to go into detail about what it was but i definitely wanted to tell you guys that it's seeming like we're going to have to move soon um so if you're watching this video please pray about it about our situation i'm glad that we were able to like handle it now and that we all know like what is expected moving forward but of course it's a sad thing like what's happening uh there's just no words to express like the feelings that i'm getting right now i don't like having to move so like drastically like quickly out of a place but if it's something that we have to do in order for me to get some sleep the baby to get some sleep and jordan because he works as well like that's definitely something that we're gonna have to be looking into and like like nonetheless we're very grateful for everything that they have done and if they, they've done it with their heart like even more we accept it and even more we are very grateful for the help that they have provided for us and god knows their hearts so i'm just leaving it in god's hands like let him be the judge and let him be the one speaking to all of us and so yeah i mean i have love for them and you know and i asked the lord to just help me move forward with whatever is happening yeah um we're just praying to god like what his will is because jordan serves here um at church and i used to serve as well like even with her in my tummy and she'd kick me a lot those were like the beautiful moments that i had with her i'm sorry i'm just so emotional i've been trying to be so strong like and i've just come to a breaking point in a way and don't get me wrong like we probably some of you are gonna be like hey you know get some therapy which i have i have been getting to help me with my postpartum and i feel like a lot of the times i've been doing much better but then like when i am sleep deprived it becomes so so hard and um there's just so much so much to do so much to get done and everyone tells me go to sleep and then they come over and they wonder why they're such a mess i'm like i know i shouldn't even worry about what people have to say about my place because i'm doing it alone here at home until my husband comes in he sometimes helps me but it's not like a constant thing I have to be telling him help me with this or that um like he is he's a good husband most of all good father for a child like he's amazing with our child like i love seeing them together but i just need a lot more help than just you know washing my clothes or just one thing every day. No, I need more help because I already have a lot, a load of things with her that I have to worry about. Her tummy when she's in pain, lately mucus that I have to remove, 
and so many other things that come with having her like i love her so much but it's just so overwhelming and um i just wish i had that constant help at least like two to three days out of the week it would have been amazing and it's also hard because like i don't just trust her with anyone like i would have to really trust the person that's gonna take care of my daughter because of so many different things that like i've heard of people doing and things like you would never imagine the people that you would you know trust because a lot of those people were trusted and they broke the trust by doing things to children that no one would ever want to even think about and for our child like i want the best and i know every parent has their own perspectives and a lot of parents want to have the best caregiver so i just pray like whoever takes care of her will do a good job and not hurt her and not you know do anything to damage her but like instead build her up and create alongside us a beautiful human that's gonna help in society that's gonna bring more people to the lord and just a, a future that will be amazing for her like that's what i want to build for her and i feel like like we're stuck in a way because we're i feel like stuck in this place like i'm not trying to look at it that way but when I see the mess everywhere, it really gets to me. And I feel like even when I imagine how beautiful it can seem, like it can look at the end of it all once I'm done, it never seems to get there. And um, like I was saying, like I have been getting therapy um, for my postpartum and it has been helping, but I feel like I wish they would focus more on scripture to encourage me and so that way like scripture will be entangled in every session so that that encourages me to move forward with the lord and grow more and you know because i do my devos in the mornings but i feel like i can't really process them though because again if she's crying i get so much anxiety i like want to focus on what i'm doing but it becomes so hard and I just wish, like, family, like, would actually want the help. <laughs> like, actually take in, you know, having their hearts to help us. Because the only family, like I said, is my aunt in Washington. She's been amazing. Like, she has been there so much. Lately, she's tired, so she can't be there that much. Like, I should be the one looking for her now. <sighs> but... She's been so amazing, like, she doesn't stop wondering how we're doing, always has her, has our daughter in her mind, and wants the best for us, and I'm so grateful for her. She's the only one, like, in Washington that has been really seeking to help us, and it's just crazy to think, like, families all around here, but no one is helping us find somewhere to go to live or offering us a piece of you know their land or something to park an rv or you know what i mean like i just don't understand like i know that god has greater plans for us but it's like is it for us to move to washington or is it for us to stay here where we're supposed to you know be here longer we're supposed to go it's just it's just so hard because I wish that there was a division like they had built a wall literally I could see where they could have built a wall right here and closed up this section so that it becomes an actual room um but I I don't know why they didn't decide to do it and it's their place it's their house like they've made it seem to us that it's their house and we have no right whatever happens you know and so oh goodness we just need a lot of prayers right now so if you guys are watching this please be praying for us 
We're trying to make the right decision. What's best for our child, for our family. And a lot for my health. Like, I really need some mental stability. And I have to be worried about so many things, guys. <sighs> There's so much to talk about, but I just want to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for joining me and listening to me during this time. I really needed to, like, vent it out, let people know what's going on, and kind of have you alongside us on this journey i know that i haven't really been posting anything about her um i don't know if you guys would love to watch more things um focused on her let me know like i could create more things um ab about her and stuff but um yeah if you guys have any questions you guys don't be afraid to comment below i also have an instagram I will be putting that um, name below where you guys can search for us. I haven't really updated more stuff on that one, but I hope to do that as well as I have a Facebook that I'm still working on and I will be linking that whenever I can in the future. But thank you guys so much for being here once again. I hope that you know that you are very loved and that you find freedom when you surrender to jesus and so i just want you guys to remember that as well as a reminder to myself whenever i'm going through things like i am right now and i just hope that you have a wonderful day and night wherever you guys may be and don't be afraid to share this video with others so that way they know that they are not alone going through this um time in their life season whatever they may be going through so I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. God bless. Remember this, that there is freedom in surrender when you surrender to Jesus, though. So, you guys, thank you so much for always being here and subscribing to my channel. I encourage you to send these videos to other people so that they know that they're not alone. I'm going to be hopefully making more videos to come. Be on the lookout. Um on the notification bell you'll be seeing new videos coming up and if you have any questions don't be afraid to put them below and thank you guys so much for your support once again god bless you all